we camera is live. Straight up ignore for the most part. Maybe not. So everyone's everyone's gonna be surprised, but we got Jr. Sanks in here right off the bat. Can't uh, believe it. Um, unbelievable. The, I do uh, not believe it. The little puppy photo. We got Lucas always. White. We got Charles Bronson. Um, Charles Bronson, man. Death Wish. Jr. Sanks, you weren't the first person in this time. You're slipping. <laughs> yeah. Wait. There's gonna be a fight between Lucas and Charles all of a sudden already. Uh -oh. The bell's ninging. Dude, gloves are coming off. What's up, everybody? Brandon, welcome. Stonk Pliskin. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a, a stonk meme and a snake Pliskin uh, smash? Yeah. I need some of those. Uh... Oh, Salvador's in here. What's up, dude? The whole thing. Mm hmm. Ross, JR Sinks. We're going to give everyone a, just a couple minutes to pile in here. Um, how's the audio? Uh, how's the lighting? How's everything going? Does Mike have the voice of an angel? Or or does he? Glenda's like, let's go! <laughs> um, what do you got there, Chad? I'm drinking Red Breast. 12-year Irish. Exquisite. Mm. I've got the house blend. <laughs> Craft and lore, decanter. You'll, Dr. Bones by, uh, gifted that. By the end of the hour, that should be empty. Yeah, you can. Uh, we started with this full uh, this afternoon at some point. So, yeah. It's a little. Uh, You're going to getting... watch the color drain. It's getting a dent already. And I got some. Uh, what do you got, Douglas? Show it off. Quiet Man Traditional Irish Whiskey. Oh, very good. Over here. Which one? Uh, the the yellow label. There's also a black label, oh, which is blend. exquisite. All right. From Southeast Missouri. Joe, that's where my family's from, believe it or not. Um, Southeast Missouri. Did you say Missouri? Missouri. <laughs> Audio's good. Thanks, Ross. All right. Should we do our introductions, boys? Let's do it. Okay. Welcome to episode... <laughs> was it 11? 11. 11. <laughs> we, yeah. Welcome to episode 11, Craft and Lore Live. I am your host, Nathaniel Von Lind. I'm your main host, Mike Miles. Wow. <laughs> flex. <laughs> and I'm Weird flex, but okay. Who am I? I don't know. Who are you, Douglas? Some random dude who comes on. <laughs> uh, we bring him around because he's cute, and we roast him regularly, and Do we hope you will roast him too. Mm. So, Douglas. Every group needs a scapegoat, and... Uh, you need a yeah. fall guy. You're looking at it. You need the weakest link. That's why I'm here. <laughs> that's why you flew that's, that's, across the country. That's why they paid me the big bucks. He's our punching bag that we love and adore. All right. Well. All right. So as you guys may know, we released uh, this month's newsletter. And we included uh, some new additions. Some new limited editions. We have both the olive green... Craft Belt. You hold it olive green, right? Uh, yeah, it's the olive, the Craft Belt olive, um, which we're just doing a run of, where, and we will discuss that here in depth. Okay. Um, and then we also launched, uh, what do we have over here, Nathaniel? The Pueblo leather. For any of you people who are, uh, well, leather wallet fans, um, the Pueblo leather has been going around the circles for a while now, and it's a very, very popular and excellent leather of Italian origin uh, with a medium temper and a really unique kind of a buffed finish to it. Um, it's almost hard to describe, but it's... Man, it's, it is interesting. It's not quite velvety, but it has... It has that buffed... Yeah, where it's, it's not like a glossy smooth... It, it's like a soft... I don't know, but they they did something to it to give it that... that uh, surface feature um, but you know what it uh, it burnishes really nice here's one I've been carrying for the couple of weeks um, and it it's or it uh, patina is very nice I guess I could say too it's Anyways. one of the best olive options that we've offered so far because it it has that earthy br almost slightly brownish like deep green color that uh, yeah that's not too bright not too saturated it's that nice that nice in the middle Earth tone type. It's yeah, a really good color. Green. It's a really good feel. It's a good density of the actual leather. Um, man, yeah, and as it breaks in, it just gets more and more amazing. 
So this is a Pueblo leather. It's it's a limited run. It's live now on the website, and uh, while supplies last, as all of our limited runs go. And this one will be a bit more limited than previous launches. Uh, unfortunately, we are only able to get our hands on a certain amount. I know there's still facing down um, shipping problems coming from that area of the world because of COVID and production issues as well. Um, and so it, it is an extremely limited addition. Of course, if it's super popular, there may be a chance down the line we may bring it back, but um, that's to be seen. This has been a long time coming. We've seen Pueblo around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, um, and yeah a lot of other makers have been making uh, their wallets from this stuff, and it's it's got a it's got a really good following too. If um, yeah, if you if you've got any Pueblo, like shout it out in the comments. There, we're interested on in what your thoughts are. Um, just the way it ages, the way it feels. It's 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 one it's a high one of my top probably in my top five out of all the limited runs we've done. I'll it's definitely it up there. up there, yeah. Um, the density, just the finish of it, the overall leather is just incredible, and the breaking has just been something altogether just amazing. Yeah, it it changes a lot. Thanks. And it's overall viewing. Um, of course, already in the chat here, we got some <laughs> we got some stuff going on. We got some good questions. Uh, Mike is looking extra juicy tonight. I'm not quite sure what that means, Bronson, but uh, thank you. Just want to take a bite. Um, uh, Brandon Tan, Douglas, is your dead bird a beta SL? It is a beta SL. Uh, it's one of the older versions before they kind of cheapen the beta SL. So it is the Gore-Tex Pro. He's asking about my Arc'teryx jacket that I posted on oh, this okay. photo. Mm. And someone asked about how your uh, anniversary trip went. Charles Bronson. Oh, thanks, Charles. Um, you know what? I do not get away enough, and it's been too long. In fact, oh, the last so. time we got out was six years ago, where it was just the missus and I and no kids or anything for just a couple days. But it, it was much needed, and I, gotta, I really got to do it more often, so... Um, but thank you. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. Went to Glacier National Park in Montana. That's really good. Poked in through Kalispell and Whitefish. Stayed in a log cabin Airbnb up on the mountain. That was just epic. Um, day drink. <laughs> day oh, yeah. drink. Looks like you were eating a lot of good food I was too. Say, I went to a lot of good <laughs> eating. Yeah, it was it was really really nice. So had a lot of fun. Thank you. Sixteen years of marriage. Amazing. It's crazy. I know. I feel too young for that many years. And I act and how many, too immature. How many children later? 19 or something I like that? I got six. Oh, six. Yeah, yeah. Right. And we're done. We wrapped it up. <laughs> Finito. <laughs> All right. Uh, just so we don't forget, Glenda, before we even went live, uh, said she got a russet mountain belt that's breaking in and uh, wanted to know what uh, Walt would pair well with it, if we had any suggestions. Ooh. That's a great question. Um, What's the question? What, what wallet pairs? would pair best with russet mountain belt? Natural. Um, the best wallet that would pair with russet mountain belt, the thing is, the russet mountain belt has a lot of changes and stages. Um, it could take it could take a while and turn into something totally different. By the time a, a russet mountain belt's done, I mean, really, it's going to be dark brown. You know what the closest thing I can think of to russet mountain belt right now is? Pueblo. As but, far as like color and start starting color and well, you've been breaking in a, Pe a Pueblo port wallet, yeah, and in the cognac, and it almost looks like uh, our Buck Brown mm. port wallet would look. It does have a different feel to it. Uh, it's an entirely different tannage, but but color uh, viewing, color wise, yeah. color wise. I mean, it comes with olive green stitching, so that will set it apart from a Buck Brown. So if you've always wanted a Buck Brown wallet with olive green stitching, you're gonna want to get the Pueblo for sure. Um, it's a great kind of woodsy, has a cedar. It's tree. honestly, yeah. I mean, if you're looking for one of the most classic combinations in leather that you could get, like a, just a nice brown, orangish brown wallet with yeah. with all of stitching, it's. So the question would be, um, or the answer to the question would be probably a buck brown port wallet. Once that's fully broken in, it would pair well with a fully broken in russet mountain belt. Um, anyways, what's next? <laughs> that was kind of a. <laughs> are, we just, are we just doing Q and A right now? Is that what we're doing? Well, we're just we're blending it in. Like I said, okay. this is gonna be a more relaxed kind of conversation with you guys. Um, sometimes we've got a very uh, pointed kind of uh, video for you or live stream. This time, this is one of our updates, just to, to 
to kind of have fun and answer questions and, and talk about the business and where we're at, where we're going. Bug cool. Out. What's bug out, Patina? Um, oh, the bug out. That's my knife from Benchmade. Oh, gotcha. The Benchmade gotcha. bug out. Bug out's probably one of Benchmade's most popular yeah. models. I feel like I see that in the EDC circles more than I see any other Benchmade knife. Um, yeah, in fact, but, I've been seeing it more now that I now that you got one and I can identify it. Yeah, you I've been seeing it everywhere. It. Yeah, um, and they did a beautiful job on the lines, the design, the simplicity, and the brass scale option, which is a from a third party. Flytanium is the brand that makes the brass scale. Um, it's so good. It's so good. The default plastic scales that come with the bug out are super lightweight. If you want a wife or a Want a wife? Huh? If you want a wife? <laughs> yeah, I can't help you there. Uh, if you want a lightweight pocket knife, featherweight, then the bug out is that. But once you put the brass on it, it gives it that real substantial. But it, I mean, even still though, like weight wise, this is actually a pretty lightweight knife. I feel like even with the brass, um, like, even yeah, with the brass, it's like, probably more standard to what a typical knife weighs with the brass. It might change the balancing and stuff on it a little bit, but um, it still is an incredible knife, and the color. Mm. Brass is just, it's the best, man. I know. I, I, I photograph it so much and I withhold photographs because I don't want my feed to be just half bu bug out knife. So I got all these photos. What over I love promote. It. it looks so good. Mm. I want to become a dealer and sell You start these. simping for and, it all uh, of a sudden? Benchmade won't, isn't taking on new dealers right now. I think they're. I think they would if they've seen uh, some of the hot some photos some you take. Some of the hot photos you take. <laughs> yeah. but. You can get Jeff in here. He'd take some killer photos. He might even already Jeff be Robertson. here. Yeah, Robertson Studio Works. He also has a brass. Does he have a brass scale one too? He does. Like he does, right? Um, that's, he's the reason why I bought this. I, he took a photo of his brass scale bug out knife and I was like, all right, sold. I'm going Dude, to buy he, one right now. He posted a heater like two days ago with it and it was yeah. crazy. Beautiful. Charles Francis says, imagine a mountain bell wallet. Uh, <laughs> Charles, <laughs> after a lot of whiskey, we've definitely tried that more than once and... Uh, no, we've, we've it ain't laughed happen. at the idea. I hope, I hope Charles isn't the guy that wrote in and, and asked us to make a mountain belt version of the info there was a full serious, size wallet. There was a serious inquiry a few years ago where a guy wanted the full size Enfold wallet in mountain belt leather in all of its thickness, all 13 ounces, quarter inch thick. <laughs> yeah, 13 ounce. And I'm like, that's not even like possible. I don't think the belt could even, like the leather could even fold to that level as it needed to, but... Um, we still joke about it to this day that we need to make one. Someone just said Steinhardt or Pontus uh, working on getting one of these. Um, what's really funny is he's got his Steinhardt and I have my Pontus on yeah. right now. Um, it, it comes down to personal preference. I really think what do you like. I, yeah. I, I I admire uh, all of the I don't want to call it busyness, but like there's a lot going on on that watch versus this Pontus is like really basic um but it is quite large like the thickness of it um is is really substantial compared to the steinhardt um but i love this has a bit more of an elegant look and this is a way more rugged uh kind of looking watch in my opinion but yeah this one's a chronograph and so it's got all the numbers and notches and things that i like on it so it's a little busy but if you just want a chunky beefy bomb proof watch yeah. i mean pontus makes those as well so I did the Kickstarter. I love Kickstarter. I like the support of the brands. Um, and I totally forgot about it. And then the watch just showed up one day and I was like, oh yeah, I ordered that like eight months ago <laughs> or back that eight months ago. Um, so Drew Fish asked, uh, any plans for more ghost leather? Drew, my yes. man. Um, hmm. Do, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so there would definitely be more ghost leather. Um, we're kind of hearing your guys' feedback, and this is one of the things we never imagined. When we first got Ghost Leather, we thought it was interesting. Um, we weren't quite sure how it would be received by everybody because it is like a wax on the outside that does wear away. It's very, very unique. Um, but people really, really enjoyed it, and um, we will continue to offer some of the colorways in some form uh, at later times. I would say look towards those big sales we do every year, um, like around holiday season um, for a restock on some of that stuff. And we appreciate the folks that are, are really waiting on it. We're trying to also figure out a shop cart system that will notify you when stuff comes back in stock too. 
It's something we've pondered for a long time, but it's a great deal of work on the website end to do that and possibly uh, going to cost us money also as a, as a service to do that. Um, but we're working on that. I would say the best thing you can do is just always continue to, to watch on social media for announcements and also be subscribed to that newsletter. because And be in the Craft Noir Lounge. Yeah. We always announce at the lounge in the lounge yeah. a day, two days, sometimes a week ahead of time when stuff's ready to come out. So they're really the first ones to find out. But um, but yeah, we appreciate you guys' patience on that. It, it'll come back, I'm sure. Thanks, Drew. And give your aunt, uh, Mrs. Lingus, our best. <laughs> Stonk Bliskin just got an olive uh, Pueblo port with his stonk money. Dude. <laughs> Dogecoin. You got your Doge we should talk money? about Dogecoin. We should not. Talk oh, to the moon. Man. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to get demonetized on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> not that we're even doing that. We would never give financial advice. We are not qualified yeah. in any way. Don't buy Doge. Or buy Doge. Or, or just do what you want to do. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. Well, what's the main U.S. canneries you guys get leather from? Um, Horween. Uh, Herman yeah. Oak. Wicket and Craig. Tasman. We've used kind of the same tanneries over the last seven or eight years um, professionally, and then sometimes some of those tanneries we we've used longer than that, even as hobbyists. Um, we love those those guys. All the guys that all those tanneries mentioned um, have worked with us from a very small brand where we could barely afford to buy a full single side of leather um, to now where we're where, you know we're we're growing in size and being able to work with us and getting us monthly deliveries and trying to get us leather on time to provide you guys products in a timely manner. So we appreciate all of that because we're, even at the level we are, we're still small potatoes compared to the outerwear brands and stuff that order from them. And they treat us just like they do the big guys. So we are as big as Gucci. <laughs> yeah. Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Humongous. Louis Vuitton doesn't order American-made leather, that's what? for sure. Ooh, shots fired. Mm. Then don't buy that crap. Pleather. Or do. <clears throat> Oops, I'm late to the Roast Ryan show. Um, You're never late to the <laughs> Roast Ryan oh, it's, show. It's, it is always uh, open. It's, it's, is that Graves? 24 yeah. hours. <laughs> 365. So if you've got them, we want them. Mm. Welcome to the chat, Pastor Graves. <laughs> Pastor Graves, cheers. Um, what else we got? Um, I heard Tasman closed down. Um, th I think they, they had several locations. They may have closed one of the tanneries. They or consolidated. Moved yeah. So they are they have experienced massive growth. So yeah. they're not going away. Um, they switched to a kind of a, a small man retail operation instead of providing only to large companies. And it actually revolutionized uh, their business model. So... From what I understand, and I, I don't know him personally, but how is Graves trolling about that? He doesn't even know. How does he know that? Graves knows you a little too well, Ryan. I uh, I don't even own black boots, so I. <laughs> <you're pretty good. laughs> That's the funny part. Yeah, it's just he's, it's a burn. Dude. I sold my black boots. Yeah, if you guys know Douglas, uh, he would never wear a belt mm. in a boot that <laughs> didn't match. That's actually a good conversation that we should possibly. Let's get talk into the about. olive. They all have well, let, let, let me mention one more thing though. Nathaniel Glinda says this. Nathaniel needs to start a YouTube channel on men's style. The man's looking classy. Ooh. Oh, well, thank I you. mean, really, he is the, he is the classiest dressed man <laughs> that I know. So uh, I would go into restaurants like on a date with my wife, <laughs> and I've literally had like these yeah. like these ladies stop me. And then just like have to like look at me and like they make a scene of it like when you're in the waiting like the lobby oh, area. Yeah. <laughs> you like, talk to you like I haven't experienced that yeah, with you, okay, man. I know. It, it only happens yeah. when he's with his wife though. When he's with me, then they stop me and take photographs of me. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, so I, I, yeah. I fall by the wayside really quick. <laughs> uh, I'm just chopped liver at that point. Looks like he's ready to start his second career as a train conductor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Chris, Was that Newey? Newey. That's classic. Chris <laughs> Newey in here, just wrecking ball. You guys can call me conductor from now on. <laughs> conductor like Von Lind. Conductor Von Lind. I will take uh, it. Thank you, Newey. Um, I'm interested in uh, also input from you guys. The style world, speaking of style is uh, a fickle thing and we have debates. Why would you say that? Uh, we have debates. We argue like what's acceptable, what's not. Um, Douglas has his own opinions on what is acceptable, what's not. And I have mine. Um, but when we were discussing 
releasing a limited run of all of Green Belt, we were like, all right, like style can be done wrong. So, I mean, if you follow people of Walmart, you know, that's a good <laughs> primer into style done wrong generally. <laughs> People that win, wear windbreaker pants at work, they're oh. usually... Tyler's getting roasted. <laughs> Tyler's getting roasted. Okay, good. He needs a roast. Uh, the wind never stood a chance. Um, we wanted to kind of like talk about our suggestions or what we think is the best use of wearing an olive belt. Now, <laughs> Christopher Neary says, Douglas is wrong. He hasn't even heard what we said. He hasn't even heard our opinions. Oh, he Douglas is wrong. All right. That's too already. Wrong. Wrong. The yeah. conversation <laughs> hasn't even started yet. And that's too already, dude. Thanks, Chris. Oh, yeah. uh, you and me, are, we're the same. Yeah, Nui, you're the man. <laughs> I mean, love you, love you, Ryan. Um, I think what we boiled it down to, and where Ryan and I probably agree mostly. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you fully agree yeah. with me. Um, there are really kind of two style options when rocking like an accent color belt, right? So what you're dealing with is if you're in a monochromatic, is that what we discussed? Like blacks and grays up, up and down, like yeah. down from your boots. You got black boot, black pants. Uh, James was in here earlier, uh, a gray hoodie yeah. and he was wearing our craft belt natural it and could, it worked. Yeah. Um, if you've got like no color on you and then this is kind of the accent piece and the belt is really a central part of like a man's outfit or wardrobe. Right. It's kind of like what it's, it splits, it splits you in half. There you go. It it's separates your, it's you. It's your midsection. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so the rule of twos instead of the rule of threes. Hmm. Um, but <laughs> the other option, if you weren't in a monochromatic setup with just this as your accent piece would be, um, my opinion is if you're wearing a lot of like earth tone. So Ryan, I, I feel like he kind of disagrees a little bit. I mean, I would say I think it can be done wrong, but it can be achieved right if you I have think, the eye. I think you'd have to also decide what type of environment are you wearing it. Um, if, you're, if you're going to dinner and you were, you were wearing and you're, you're really dressed up for this dinner and you have a, like a suit jacket on or a blazer or something, okay. you have to decide at what level so uh, it's acceptable too. I feel like because hiking the, gear, like mountaineering, yeah. like goofing off. Like when when I put on like my waxed canvas that comes in um, like field tans, and I've got like a green shirt on. Like the green belt would go with brown work boot or like climbing hiking mountain boots that I normally wear, and it would it would pull off as it, it blended into the whole thing. What what you're trying to avoid is where it just pops out in a weird and awkward way right. that doesn't go with anything else. I think a lot of it comes down to uh, when you look in the mirror and you see yourself wearing that belt, does it look odd to you or not? And for me personally, if I was wearing um, other very saturated colors or other kind of poppy colors, I would think that it would look slightly clownish. Like if, if I have a, you know, if I have too many colors going on, I'm going to look like a rainbow. I'm going to look really weird. Yeah. Um, but um, like we were saying, like, uh, James, um, was wearing black jeans, black shoes and a gray hoodie. And he was wearing a natural veg tone belt, which was popping out of, from the other colors that he was wearing. Cause everything else he was wearing was muted and desaturated and everything like that. So, um, to me that that's a good look because you have kind of an accent piece as your belt and it pairs especially well when you have the olive belt with the olive cuff because then you have like kind of something tying it together Another color that goes really it. well in your outfit and additionally if you have olive boots of course if you have olive boots you're probably already looking for an olive belt you yeah. probably want something to match it yeah um and that's gonna look phenomenal sure. especially if you wear muted colors otherwise gray or black pants something like that um who do you know that makes all of boots who are you aware of that are like so our we, style we were looking style. before um red wing makes some women's uh all of boots in rough out mock toes uh so um they don't do men's though huh they don't do men's interesting viberg uh a really high-end boot maker makes a really nice rough out boot with a um a nice like mock toe style sole are they all rough um out? They're all rough out, and then, and then boots. and then White's also makes an olive boot, yeah. or made an olive boot that was that it's was olive rough, rough out, well. um, that would pair nicely with that. So yeah, yeah, for me it's just like I want it to be the accent piece of the outfit. I want it to pop out. I want it to stand out, independent of like having super saturated blue jeans and like bright orange leather boots. Those kind of things can bother me aesthetically. 
Um, some people like like a really worn in leather boot, but uh, for me, I think a green belt is kind of an accent piece and you need to let it stand out. Okay. So, so I guess that would be what we would suggest how to make the most out of the belt. And it's yeah. worth mentioning that our crap, our olive crap belt here comes with an olive double wrap yep. wrist cuff as just kind of a throw in on it. So, so I've seen like uh, like green tweed type blazers and stuff too that you can wear um, that might pair well with it. I don't know. Um, someone here said, "Ask Professor Michael." I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> I'm not a uh, fashion aficionado. But um, I think it's just kind of up to the person. I, I, I've known people that wear really advantageous things, but it fits their personality. They're just kind of they're out there and they want to wear something kind of unique. <laughs> And I know guys that, that like to dress really classy every day that a lot of people don't find this style anymore. Um, I try to look up train conductors that are historically famous, yeah. and I go, what would they wear? You need the cap, dude, to go with it. That's right. Oh, um, KW, the guy that posted the Wax Flesh Olive Whites is in here. He said that's the reason why I picked up the belt. Yeah. yeah. Um, awesome. Buy it for life on yeah. Instagram. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that input on our Facebook group there. That was um, helpful. Glenda yeah. asked about these. Um, they are Brave Star jackets back here behind uh, Douglas there. They're um, available. They are the remaining uh, stock that I have, and they're large sizes and double XLs as well. So they're kind of the odd, odd fits and have just been waiting for someone to claim them. Email us if you're interested. Wear that off at any time. All right. Well, um, I think we should do a giveaway here. So for people on Instagram, you don't get to play. You have to jump over to our YouTube channel. Just search Craft and Lore on YouTube. Um, we're going to do a game in the comment section on our YouTube channel where we're going to uh, have you just guess a number between a certain range and whoever lands on it. Um, we're shipping out products. And we got a couple port wallets. We got a couple of valet trays, and we've got—is that mouse pad going out? To you? Depends on how long people stick around. We've got a mouse oh, pad too. Might give away um, a mouse that's the pad. bonus giveaway. So bonus round. Um, uh, what should we give away first then on the YouTube? I think we're setting up for a nice EDC tray here right okay. off the bat. Black EDC tray. So this is great for your keys, your wallet. Put it on your nightstand. Put it on your end table. Put it in your entryway. Um, it's just a place to store things. Remote controls for TVs. People use those. Where is our giveaway notebook? It's right up there. You got, uh, and you got a pen in your pocket, right? I do. Um, KW asked, uh, what's the size of that cuff? Asking for a small wrist, friend. Um, if if you believe that it's a smaller than average wrist, then um, write in the notes, um, and uh, we'll, we'll remove one hole for you, and we'll punch it an extra hole um, further in it for you. It down a little bit lower than six-inch circumference. Okay. If you check the double wrap listing on our website, it'll have all those um, fitment details, but... Uh, once again, it's kind of like a bonus we're just throwing in, but we'll we'll try to like tailor them to you. Um, Drew asked, "Have you had any of the green pueblo long enough to ha earn any patina?" The answer is yes. Um, Nathaniel's been carrying this bad boy for a while. Do we have autofocus, or is it unsepared? It's. You may or may not be able to see it on the camera. There, I'm sure we'll shoot a photo of it for our Instagram sooner than later. Um, it looks absolutely amazing, as you could ever imagine. <laughs> It's a really, really just amazing leather. Charles, I was checking for the cone tag. Uh, but these are, I believe these are, all these are cone mills. Pretty sure. Uh, Brave Star had some, had a lot of rolls left. They're still producing cone mill stuff where the cone mills already shut down. Uh, Brave Star had some, Rail Car had some. Uh, a lot of companies stocked up on that. The cone mills salvage before uh, cone mills White Oak shut down, so... Um, a bit less. Levitica asked whiskey giveaway. We can't do that for legal reasons, but what we can do is, you know, you always get free drinks here. So come in, have a discussion with us, teach us something new. Um, and uh, always the drinks are on us. So I saw Douglas checking. Come on, tag. I think mine's a little bit behind yours or something, dude. I feel like you're answering questions before I even get them. All right. Do we want to? We only start this one. Giveaway. Yeah. Are you ready, Nathaniel? Let's do it. Let's do it. What are we doing veg? We're now we're doing this guy here. Oh, okay. Yep. Once again, only uh, we're really only watching our YouTube live comments. So if you're on Instagram, we appreciate you, but we can't see what you're saying. So if you want to jump to YouTube, you can come in and play. 
Guess the number between 200 and 300. All right, the games have begun for uh, winning a valet tray. All you got to do is throw the number in, and we're going to ship it to you on us. Um, Black valet tray is the first give around, uh, giveaway round. Um, anything else we can talk about in the meantime? Uh, Ty's going to be watching for the number, right? Yes. Yeah, they're going so fast, I can't keep up. Oh. Right. We have a winner. We have a oh, winner. It's, it's Lucas White. Lucas. Nice, hey, Lucas. Dude. Dang, man. Uh, Lucas, it's up to you to contact us about your winning. So um, use the contact form on the website. Yep. or Yeah, use the contact form. Tell us what, what you won um, and all your shipping information, dude. Uh, I'll have those out mid next week, um, hopefully. You'll get it when you get it. We're really busy. It so. is free. So. It is free, yeah. You can wait. Um, no, but we do try to get those out right away. Yep. Stop Typic numbers. Um, Ross Miller, I noticed you're like typing seven in a row, man. You got to be careful because it, it will silence you. Oh, yeah. Um, don't mash numbers too quickly or you get throttled. We don't see your numbers. You don't get to play. But, this is uh, all, yeah, this is all fun and games too. We've I've actually gotten messages from the last live stream, people upset that they guessed a number that they feel like uh, and we didn't call on them. Uh, it doesn't matter, unfortunately. We're, this is fun for us. It's supposed to be fun for you guys. It's free product. Um, we're not going to argue. We're not going to... Don't take it too seriously. Uh, get too seriously about it, so... It all burns in the end, right? Yeah. Um, very cool. We want to keep going. Lucas, fight me. <laughs> I think we... I think we could do a... Uh, why don't we do a fast little QA here? We got 50... We got, we got like 15 new people in here, so... Um, okay. Let's do a little question and answer here. That's for you guys just to write in whatever questions <laughs> you might have. Uh, we'll do a and a We'll do another giveaway. We'll talk about some more stuff. And, and Luke has got a third, <laughs> third ballet <laughs> train. Okay, people, I want you to know Let's that go. the odds of winning are really good here. So, Lucas, this is his third ballet train. Well, JR Sanks has won like three or four yeah, times, yeah. too. Like, Dude, you can never have too many. You need one at every stop, right do. outside your door, by your bedside, Dude, at I'm your a, office. I'm like almost ready for everything. a second one on my desk at my office. I have one for home, too. In fact, I'm taking that one home. I needed a black one. Just take Lucas's. He's only got three. You know what, though? Thank you, Lucas. Um, by showing up, hanging out, and playing the game, like it's got its benefits, so we appreciate yeah. it. Um, anyways, we got another valet tray in brown, two more port wallets, and maybe a mouse pad to give away next. We're also open to questions right now hey. and just general discussion. I got, I got a question. What hair products do I use? We can each go down the line. Murray's Pomade, and that's it. Still with the Murray's, he's a, man. He's an all-time greaser. I've been using it classic since greaser. I was 17. And that was a long time ago. Uh, I like... Uh, are you still going on that tangent? Or? No, go ahead. Oh, okay, cool. Take over. Um, I've been using Ruzel for quite a while now, about six years. Um, I I use the gray pomade. I don't know what the... Is it clay? Or, I don't know what it is, to be honest. I'm not a big hair Just product Just Ruzel gray can. Yeah, yeah Ruzel gray can. Um it's amazing stuff. Washes out super easy, holds all day. It does smells amazing. Um, so no complaints. <laughs> uh, so I use I only wash my hair every few days. So I use Ruzel Gray Can when my hair is wet to kind of give it a base layer. And then um, every day I'll use um, Flagship Pomade, which is like a home brewer. He does it in a like a sink. And uh, flagship pomade, <laughs> Dead Sea Scrolls clay. It's like one of the most gritty. That stuff is amazing, man. It's like a gray, gritty clay. It is literally just just clay, and it it gives you amazing texture. It's, it's a great product. So when it's, I when I went to Cincinnati to go meet you and drive across the country, you showed me that. We, we yeah. Were, we were like woke up the next morning, early morning, and I was like, "What is that, dude? It literally looks like clay. It's, it's so, amazing. Yeah. It's so it crazy. smells like clay. Looks like clay. It's great. Well, Corey Boy just wishes he had your clay hair oh <laughs> i wish i had it me too Corey. <laughs> oh, i'll have man. to settle with a little lock of his hair stowed away in my wallet wow levitica wow. mike is the brewmeister uh yeah i mean i try hopefully if we ever expand uh the facility here uh, i can have a little space to brew my man wagstaff you are correct we are metal here um even down to the pig squeals on occasion. <laughs> um, this trucking guy interested in making holsters? Absolutely not. Not going to do holsters. <laughs> we get that every hit day, up, hit all up day. Somebody who makes Kydex holsters, the, the holsters that you should be carrying, you should be carrying leather holsters anyway. So. Leather holsters get people... Sh huh. Check out... NDs, negligent discharges. Man, Check what? out Tier 1 Concealed, T-Rex Arms, 
Anywhere that makes Kydex ulcers. There was that cowboy, like, leather. 20 years of shooting firearms, remember? And he got he went to put his pistol in the holster yeah. and it clipped it. Yeah. No, I have a friend. He was trying to holster a pistol in his back carry and, and the he leather. Yeah, neoprene. And, was it neoprene? Yeah. It wasn't even leather? It was neoprene. Yeah. Anything soft like that. It Any pulled soft it in and material. pushed his finger into the trigger and he yeah, put it, a hollow point down his butt cheek. The guys that have the, the button that goes across the top. Yeah. This guy was holstering a gun and the button got stuck between the trigger guard and yeah. punched Kydex, a hole in his leg. Kydex is the, the safest possible way to go um what else guys um did we want to what? talk about company stuff did you guys i do yeah but there's like so much there's so much stuff coming okay. in here i also don't want to cut any anybody Tactical off go ahead. you want to uh, uh, hello leather, go ahead good what leather care products do you recommend for your wallets we sell two leather balms on our website the leather balm that we sell we're all fans of and we suggested so um, that's actually a video we got to do, Douglas, is uh, comparing the differences, which it's very, very, very subtle, the differences. Yeah. Ingredients. Um, some are uh, edible. If uh, you can cook Shane with them. Smith is in the comments here. I saw him on Instagram a second ago. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. You can just spoon that cocoa butter in your mouth if you're <laughs> needing a little midnight snack. Um, you can put it in your hair, too. Yeah. You just inhale beer it bomb. while sure. you apply it. Yeah. Um, otherwise, the ones that aren't as tasty, delicious as Smith's, you can uh, use. I feel like they have a higher beeswax content. Some of the, um, I think, uh, Obanoff's mm -hmm. has a little higher, a little harder to get in, but it kind of holds out for a little bit longer before there's replacement. A but. There's a difference between trying to repair damage or moisturize your mm -hmm. leather and trying to waterproof and Correct. beeswax and coat it. That's a great so point. You're, you're looking for different things based on uh, based on your need. Yeah, we all use several different types of, of uh, balms here. So um, Another question is a large valet tray. That's something we get a lot, and it is something we've actually played with. Um, Recently. Yeah. the It's going to require more construction, and it's going to become much more expensive because we can't just build them the same efficient way that we build these small ones because mm -hmm. they lose their structure their rigidity and they don't actually hold they just flatten out once they get much bigger than where we're at um so it's still um in our one of our lo long list of things we want to offer but it's also going to be a lot more pricier because it's going to require a lot more time and energy to, to make them that much bigger but i i agree that we do need to offer a larger version um for people who love them and appreciate them they're probably willing to pay the price for a yeah, a larger tray. Also, a lifetime product. So yeah, and I mean it's around forever. So you'll always be stashing your stuff in it. Brandon, um, Brandon with the low blows, man. We get uh, we get a lot of questions about different colors of mountain belt. Um, unfortunately, the mountain belt can only be made in two colors. People ask us about black. People ask us about burgundy. Um, this this person in, Eddie's asking about a gray mountain belt. Unfortunately, that leather, the way that it's manufactured, there's just no other way to really stuff dye into it. In fact, originally that leather was only offered in the russet colorway, um, which is more or less a natural, but stuffed with wax and tallow, which makes it kind of a, a tannish color. Um, they That tannery really went out of their way to try to create a dark brown version of it for us. Originally, we were dyeing it by hand, and it was a very rigorous process. Progress? Process. <laughs> Process. <laughs> Have another um, beer, dude. To do it. <laughs> what are you drinking? And, uh, Look at that empty glass. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, they were able to, to produce the leather now drum dyed brown. But uh, to answer your question, a gray mountain belt, um, not likely in that that uh, specific, particular style. So That'll cure what ails you. Tripping over myself over here. That'll help you. Um, what are your tips for growing a patchy beard? Um, Brandon, I would just recommend growing it out for a year. The rule always is grow it out for a year, see what happens. Um, I have a very patchy beard too. Um, I think he's specifically trying to make it patchy and that he's specifically attacking Douglas. I think he, I think he's attacking me. <laughs> That's Which, why I said it was a low blow. Yeah, yeah. He can't help it. He's only like 17, dude. I have a patchy beard, but... Uh... <laughs> I grow it, and if your face is bare, then I then I got the leg up on you. So I don't, I don't think that's what he was it. going with. But oh, you don't um, think so? No, Brandon, fill us in, dude. Was it a roast? Growing a patchy now? beard, honestly, I have a patchy beard. Um, <laughs> I grow it. I keep it trimmed. I if you have a super patchy beard, maybe don't grow it out super long because it's gonna look a little bit odd. 
Um, but you can still have facial hair with a patchy beard. I could show you photos of, of beard progress over three years of growing a beard out. And it was always my dream to grow a beard and become a uh, brewer of beer. Ooh. And um, Bearded brewer? I think if I grew my beard out forever, it wouldn't be super far from Mike's as far as like I could grow good length and the, have a good You know stash, what though? But... Everyone's DNA is different. Yeah. And however your face grows it, like just run with it. Because even yeah. like Keanu Reeves has a really unique style of how his facial hair grows. Yep. But you just run it and you just go with it. It looks good. Um. Yeah. I think it's a confidence. I just own. I just own it, and I was always worried as a younger people were like, "Oh, it looks like a Amish beard, or it looks like a sure. you know, it looks like a fourteen year old kid trying to grow a mustache, you know, and all this stuff." And I ended up growing it out, and I'll tell you, I was actually kind of taken aback a bit by how many compliments I get on it. Of, of all things, I get complimented on my beard is was one of the top ones. Um, now and, Mike and, goes to shows and all the moms are trying to feel his beard. Trying to, trying <laughs> to run their moms fingers love through Michael. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Um, personal space is a thing, even for guys. <laughs> Please don't come and stroke my beard, <laughs> unbeknownst. Um. All right. I can though. You want to give some away again? And I do. We got more questions. Um. Great mountain belt. Love the idea. Probably not going to happen. It's really hard for them to put color into that level of waxed belt. Although a gray belt might be possible in a different variant um, later on. Who knows? We're always on the look for the best of the best. We were trying to do black belt. We should ask them how they actually looked. And they wrecked several hides trying to do a black mountain belt. It wouldn't take. But I it wonder if it came out like, gray. It would look like wild moon gray. Like a stony. It would. It'd be like that nice like textured yeah. gray. We might have to talk to Herman Oak again and see how those that Try belts again. turned out all those years ago. Throw some dollars in their face. Um, any other... to know how you drink your coffee. Black? Who? Okay, can we clarify though? What type of black coffee do you drink? What are you, what are you trying to get at? Black <laughs> <laughs> you do not drink normal black it's coffee. It's right over there. It's Black Rifle. Is it? Uh, black, black Rifle Coffee mm. Company. Yes, it has a Nathaniel, hint of Nathaniel vanilla. He drinks vanilla. <laughs> he drinks flavored black coffee. Flavored black oh, coffee. Well. It's still black coffee, right? <laughs> We can't all drink mocha choco What bullshit. roasty I flavors with? I can't lie, it smells vanilla bean. It smells amazing in the morning. Yeah. You walk in here, it smells like vanilla and coffee. Oof. Yeah. Can't but uh, yeah, I like the black rifle stuff. <laughs> I shaved my head. That made everybody want to invade my personal space. Can't lie. rip it and rip <laughs> it back there, Ty. Um. Yeah, you know it's it's funny because I was gonna add to that beard comment too. All of my uncles on both sides are all bald, and so I was facing the fact that a, at a, as a young man, I was probably gonna be bald growing up. Um, and my idea was I'd just shave it all off up here and then grow all of that out. But uh, now I get the best of both worlds. So at least I'm safe so far at 33 years old. I don't know what it's like at 45 or whatever. My guy dad started balding at 20. An age and, roast. Yeah, ageism. Is that a thing? Ageism. He's it a, is. He's thing. an ageist. Contact the HR department. Somebody made it a thing, I'm sure. Yeah. Contact the HR. <laughs> I want full body shots when you send the email. Who wants to win something? Oh, we should give some oh, away. Oh, let's give some away. I mean, nobody wants to ask questions, so. <laughs> Nothing at least good. There's some subtle roasts. Want, I want to see some roasts or something. Like, give me yeah. something interesting here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's um, do that. Yeah. Natty Veg. Your is... start to the ultimate patina journey. The classic... This is the go-to. The go-to patina journey. If you're not buying a Shell Cordovan port wallet, you should be buying the natural veg port wallet. For patina. If it's your first, mm. just for the patina journey. It's it's amazing. It's it's wonderful to watch it go. And you're going to get it for free 90 free. It normally retails for some dollars. I don't know Six. how much. Six. Some, <laughs> some numbers. Some numbers. Some fiat currency. I don't know what the Dogecoin uh, equivalent is, <laughs> but I'm interested. <laughs> Um, That's a good question. You know what? Fun fact: we couple, actually accept Bitcoin on our website, and I really probably should promote that more. Oh, we get that sorted out? out. Yeah, yeah, we've been taking sweet. Um, so for all you has uh, anyone crypto, with Bitcoin yet? I don't even know. Send us your look. Doge. I don't even look. That website's so <laughs> neglected. Um, but send us no. They uh, I'm using Coinbase, and they won't acknowledge Doge. Not yet. It's, it's too <laughs> meme. Not no, not yet. It's actually it's on the radar, man. It's top tier meme, dude. Get your diamond hands out, boys and girls. Dude. All right, port wallet. Um, let me figure out the numbers here and tell Ty the secret passcode. Um, we're gonna make it last a little bit longer because that other one went way. Hope too you quick. guys don't start doing body shots, dude. <laughs> uh, no promises. That happens when we turn off the camera. 
when the camera ends. <laughs> that's when the real party begins. Depends on how long this live stream goes. I'm just teasing. But seriously. But for reals. But for real, though. Waiting. But we're joking, but for real. Salvador says, Sal, Salvador, I, I always call you Salvador because that's what your full name is, but excited for the next shell drop. Can't wait or can't get enough. Uh, Sal, you know we'll take care of you. Um, we've already been talking thoroughly through DMs. Um, I can't wait to, to build that stuff for you, honestly. So, Shell's our favorite. Shell day is, is a good day. When it comes in, everybody crowds around. We unroll it. Still a, still a good experience. Okay. We widen the number range on this game. So it'll last more than six seconds. How long? How, yeah. Lucas Stunk. grabbed it pretty quick last time. I want to know who Stonk Pliskin is because I want to shake hands and, and have a bevy because <laughs> the name the name Gosh. alone, the name alone though, is just like, it's mint. It, it's a good one. All right, Ty, you ready for that? Go ahead and start it up, Ty. Natural Veg Tan Port Wallet. Um, I do need. Who wants to do the the uh, equivalent on Dogecoin? Because that's that's all I want to talk Douglas about. Apparently, like, that's what I'm about. Douglas seems like a man of numbers. I don't. Can you crunch those numbers, Leroy? Jenkins, mm -hmm. doing what? <laughs> the equivalent of what? How much Doge it would take to buy Doge a port wallet? How many Doge coins is a port wallet worth? Or Bitcoin? I'm also interested in whatever that equation is. Um, anyone cryptocurrency in the in the comments? Oh yeah, they're, they're excited. Who's uh, Axel? Who, who's going to the moon? Axel said more cross. <laughs> One thousand one hundred and seventy seven point seven seven Doge coin would buy one port. That's wallet. a victory number. One hundred and seventy seven Doge. Yeah. Okay. So the port wallet retails for one hundred and seventy seven Doge coin, um, <laughs> plus tax, plus, tax. plus shipping, give or take. There's you know, a, thirty. There's 40, a thirty forty Doge. There's for, a little, uh, little give or take thirty forty variants <laughs> during the. We have a winner. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, Brandon Tan. Brandon. Oh, Brandon Tan. He deserves it. Yeah, Brandon, he's good win, dude. Good. Victory. Good. I like to see that one. Axel says more crosshatch colors, please. Yes, we will eventually do more crosshatch colors. I'm writing Brandon Tan one. Specifically, goatee guy. For you guys that are here in chat, we're looking at a possible um, kind of denim colored crosshatch color coming out. So, Oh, you hear that? It looks kind of an indigo. Indigo. It looks dark incredible. blue crosshatch. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, giving away secrets. You heard it here first, guys. We gotta reward them for for hanging out. Sorry to keep bugging you guys. It's never a bother. We don't. We love doing this so much, and we love interacting with you guys so much. It's nothing is ever really a bother. It's how dare you come here and and ask for nice things and ask. Legitimate question. I can't believe Brandon won that. That's awesome. Good dude. That'll make up for the goatee. <laughs> oh, Ooh. can we roast customers on here too? <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, if they can dish it, then they better take it. Otherwise, they're not going to last around here. It's harder for us to dish it to the audience that we don't know personally. Um, iPhone cases coming soon. Never. Uh, I was gonna say when, I was when we to shoot that one down. when we when we started the brand um, when I first came on I was trying to come up with new ideas and uh, obviously the obvious one is, is cell phone cases people carry cell phones every single day and I forget what the numbers are but it's some ridiculous number of how many people actually have a cell phone versus don't um, unfortunately phones change so fast it's impossible to keep up with that market you'd have to create a business um, solely around creating iterations for the top 15 cell phones every eight to 12 months. Um, Not only that, but we would have to lower our leather quality to accommodate a case and stretching around plastic. And there would be so many, it's just, it, it would be hard to produce a, a product that's up to standard for what we like to you're trying to, to give compare out it to the current lore. like iPhone leather. Well, just just thinking about general craft and lore products, trying to create an iPhone case that has this standard of quality is almost impossible. Um, well, because we have such a a simple our mo is simplicity and durability, and um, really the only thing we could do is just a slip or a sleeve where your phone goes in. Right. But people check your phones like we check our phones way too often, too regularly throughout the day. 
You can pull that thing out every yeah. 10 minutes going like, why am I putting this back Pe- in the stupid slip? People yeah. were happy about it though. Especially, I found that women actually like to sleep a lot more when it's in their purse to protect the screen from getting scratched by keys and other things that might be in their purse. You know, that's a, that's a fair point. Yeah. Um, and they were fine with pulling it in and out of the sleeve. But uh, in the long run, it just it wasn't feasible. We, we actually released about 10 of those maybe in the wild at the very most. Um, yeah. Early, early, early on. We're talking like 2015, 2014, something like that. And <coughs> it just wasn't, yeah, we weren't happy with it, and it's one of those products we just. We it was just okay, and the thing is, I think everyone makes it. Like you can find so many makers that are making really good ones, um, exactly what you're looking for, and so we just figured yeah. it wasn't really something we felt the need to do. Um, enough with the iPhone stuff. What, what's cool that we can talk about? <laughs> I'm an iPhone hater. Oh, wow. Um, you know, one of the best Intolerant. brands, one of the best brands for um, for that kind of stuff that, that I found. I don't know about iPhone sleeves, but iPad accessories and things. Dodo case out of San Francisco. Um, they've been around for for as long as those products have been around, and they use bamboo and leather and hand bound techniques, and um, it, it's an incredible product. But uh, for people that are looking for them, you can find some really great makers that really focus on it. And if you want, like a, a strictly a case, Nomad also makes a yeah Horween leather iPhone case. Any case, any honestly, any case you get for an iPhone, like it's going to around the edges, you're gonna get the leather shaving off. You're gonna see plastic. <laughs> There's gonna be problems because we we use and abuse our phones. We throw them on tables. We put them in our pocket every day. They're constantly under friction. So um, you're you're always gonna have to switch out your phone case or uh, update to the new phone every single year. And I, so Nomad's a good option, but I mean it's still a temporary. I like case. it in almost to like our our, our talk about um, holsters. A little bit like i actually like the lightweight sleek design uh, that's right, really yeah. really hardy yeah. versus now versus um the cool patina leather which is awesome but let's face facts our phones go through a lot of hell so honestly yeah and, and next year like after seeing so mike and i both got the same phone and i got a leather case and he got a silicone case and next year i'm going with silicone after seeing his phone. still looks brand new his after phone year. still looks looks really nice mine is beat up there's dents there's cuts there's leather hanging off it's just it's called patina so. ryan embrace it yeah right, guys? it's, it's right. pleather patina though so yeah, yeah brandon chance said, said i could take any roast with my new port wallet <laughs> i like that but i liked chris newey's follow-up that yeah he can take brandon it. can t- definitely <laughs> take it or, or so, so i've been told <laughs> <laughs> good one how about a card pocket for the back of the phone? Um, I've been thinking about that a little bit. That, that's that's a little bit more plausible, especially with the new, um, I forget what they call it, the MagSafe. Um, there's actually a magnetic ring on the back of the phone now that holds on those little card wallets on um, the new iPhone iterations. Um, it's still most likely not ever going to happen, but it's... No. This trucking guy says, what's the best pub in town? We used to have a clear answer, but now, I don't know. What's the best pub in town? Oh, man. Yeah. What's your favorite otherwise? My best what's your the best pub in town is Craft and Lore. <laughs> hey. hey. During drinking hours. But it's private club only and you can't yeah. come. <laughs> it's members only. There's only five um, of us. Man. No. Honestly they're they're the whiskey bar is really cool. What's that place called? Oh yeah, the, what's that whiskey place? The distillery. The bee, the honey bee, or no, something. No, like there's that? a oh, oh the whiskey bees, cocktail place. The bee's knees is a whiskey bar, and they do some yeah. really exotic vine and drink. olive for wine. Vine and olive is it vine and olive? No, nah, he's asking about pub. Oh. Um, O'Shea's Irish Pub is bunker, probably is one of the oldest. The bunker bar, man, is kind of cool. Um, That's I, haven't, close I haven't been there. That's, yeah. yeah. I don't know. We don't really. Uh, we drink here. Yeah, we, this yeah. is where we happy drink. hour starts at three p.m. here <laughs> at Crafton Lords. So. so, well, Patty's Patty's Sports Bar is pretty good. If they you like playing pool, pool Patty's tables great, galore, yeah. um, but they don't serve hard stuff. It's just beer and wine. Uh, but they have really good uh, pub fare and food too. But. I don't know. Glinda, Glinda wants a pocket dump right off the bat. We did a whole episode about EDC oh. not even that long ago. But what are you guys carrying right now? Out of curiosity, I got a three finger knife from Kerry mm. Thomas, my man. I've got a shell cordovan reverse port wallet in natural, and a matching, not a matching, but I'm breaking in this Pueblo olive green end fold card, and ooh, it's so good. Uh, bug out knife out of brat with a brass scale. 
Um, I have a nuck. He's actually got everything on him. I know. I've got a nuck from Burnley brand, the Cypop, which has kind of been a grail piece for me for a long time. These are hard to come by unless you're willing to fork out several hundred dollars, then you can probably get one right away. All mine's on my desk. It took me about four years to get this one. Finally, I, I caught him. Um, that was a timing one. And uh, I got a brass pen, the Bolt from Karis Customs. I actually got a brass... <laughs> flashlight <laughs> he just keeps he's like a freaking There's magician more more. i'm talking he's over just here. pulling the rag out of his sleeve non-stop dude. I'm, uh, yeah and it's all brass but uh olight which um has some what? lovers and has some haters <laughs> but this was a gift from uh, a guy a guy named guy a guy named guy he brought me one of these solid brass a guy guy flashlights from guy guy and uh you know is that a fire resistant denim that you're wearing or so the joke on Olight is that they're kind of like IEDs. Um, true story. A guy had one of these, not the brass, one of their older models. Oh my goodness! And dude. he, this is a tragic story. I thought we were talking about EDC here, man. Like, well, what, it, what happened? It's, it bird walked. You're, you'll be next. It, it turn. bird walked. A guy was working under his car, like changing a tire or something at night on the side of the road, and he was holding this in his mouth. It's like a wives' tale to me. No, it's true. And uh, the lithium battery exploded and launched the. <laughs> The body of the flashlight down his throat, and he, he died. He suffocated. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. so it brought Olight tons of hate and shame. And uh, anyway, so just be careful that these lights are also... He carries it every days. day right, right around his heart, right just so you guys heart, know. Yeah. <laughs> He's so worried about it, he carries it right you on top of his heart. You can tell how worried I am that it's going to happen to me as well, but I won't be putting it in my mouth. Michael, what are you carrying right now, dude, besides disdain and hate and <laughs> vinegar and bile and piss? Um, I'm a really minimal carrier every day. So nothing. Um, Got it. Yeah. Good story, Ryan. Wow. <laughs> wow. Most most of my EDC. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> am I gonna? Get, am I, I mean, am I gonna get a chance here, boys, oh, or whoa. should we just? Uh, no, go ahead. Um, uh, <laughs> I just got freaking Love destroyed. You. Love you. Shit. <laughs> um. Yeah, most of my most of my EDC is is just uh, wearables. I would say um, I like rings and watches and bracelets and that sort of thing. Um, we got these nice little fidget toys that we like to play with here too. Um, but all of my stuff, as soon as I walk in the door, goes into my EDC tray on my desk. Um, empty pockets. Doctor Bones would not allow me to wear a wallet in my pocket while I'm working. Um, so everything goes in the EDC tray, so I don't really have anything on my person at the moment to show that's out of the ordinary. But uh, a key kedge is number one every day. Port wallet is an everyday wallet that I carry. Um, I love my double wrap. I love my shell cord of on NATO that I carry on my watch. Um, and then my rings, of course. Um, those are everyday things. For knives, I use Kershaw knives mostly. Um, they're cheap, so if I lose one, um, I'm not hurt about it. I have... A couple of handmade knives by a couple of awesome blacksmiths, but I don't carry them because I'm worried about losing a four hundred dollar or eight hundred dollar knife because um, it falls out of my pocket or I break the clip or something. That's so a struggle. Um, yeah, my EDC simple for uh, for any sort of a, a bang 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 bang. Um, we didn't talk about those. I have a Glock forty five, and uh, I really like that. It's MLS, so very good. Yeah, cool. Um, right now I'm carrying the Pueblo, uh, Cognac, correct? Yeah. The Pueblo Cognac, Pueblo yeah. Cognac, uh, port wallet, just to give it a break in. I'm going to switch back to my natural shell port because I'm bougie. Soon? Bougie. Uh, I carry a key hook. I switched from a key kedge, uh, about a year and a half ago, and I love the key hook. In my Show pockets, my camera. To I have to go to the lounge. Okay. two... Go Camera batteries, which I always keep in my in my pocket, <laughs> because you never my, know. Photographer. Because the Sony A7 II runs out of battery real fast. I carry a Streamlight ProTac uh, flashlight. That's like one step so, down from O Light. If you guys aren't paying definitely attention. a step up. It's but oh, it's not brass. It's ten up. steps up from O Light. Ten up. steps up. Right. From my bad. Um, yeah. And then tell me when they make brass. If we're talking about Bang Bangs. Uh, I carry a Glock 19 Ooh. in a tier one Axis Elite holster. Custom stippling adds plus 10 mobility. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Colt single action armies are awesome. If it was 1865. <laughs>
This room. Get roasted. <laughs> oh, Christopher. <coughs> Christopher, the things that turn you on are amazing. Are awesome, by the way. <laughs> <coughs> wow. All right. Nathaniel's got a Derringer up his sleeve with that outfit guaranteed. You know what, though? What's, like, that, what's that one movie you with the... You could have a bunch of outlaws on horseback just ready to hijack your train. What's the one the poker conducting? The poker movie that's like on a steamboat? Mavericks. Is that, yeah, Maverick. Yeah, yeah. Mel Gibson. That's that, a good one. That's a great movie. I gotta watch that one again. Um, what are top three countries you ship to? Uh, I mean, that's that's pretty easy. That's a good question. I feel like U.S. What if we if if we're including our if we're including US, the U.S. UK? He's like it's easy, and then he has no idea. <laughs> no, for you, <laughs> for you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for you. You're easy. Um, UK, US. It kind of it kind of changes a little bit. Um, Canada is probably our, our second most besides domestic shipping here. So, um, I would say the US, Canada, and what would you say, Ty? Third, third most popular. Uh, that's really tough. Uh, UK, China, Russia. Yeah, maybe maybe UK. I'd say it's the UK too. Um, I got to clear up some misinformation that Glinda is spreading. Uh, I do not carry a high point. First of all, that's gross. <laughs> Second of all, he doesn't carry a high point. He carries two. <laughs> <laughs> In case the first one fails, and you're back. Uh, no, Sig P365. And he holds them both sideways. My little secret, secret hideaway carry. Uh, the XL. It's FDE. Of course it is. Actually, of course it is, yeah. What do you, what else do you have? Uh, well, your range gun is a, uh, my a actual, yeah, my actual, the, the FN 509. It's Gucci. So full size. you pay extra for the label. The full I size. Carry Tactical. A Mac 11, but I don't hold it sideways because that's a kill shot. Tyler <laughs> carries a, a Mac 11. Is that high point? Everyone's getting a laugh out of that. Dude. Two high points. Um, okay. What's the next question? What do we got? Let's give something away. Then we can answer questions. Okay, giveaway time. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, this brown EDC tray. Uh, It's not much to be said about it because we already gave away an EDC tray this time. (laughs) They're perfect uh, for holding. This is a brown one. Imagine what the brown or what the black one looks like, and all the things the black one does, but this one's brown. (laughs) So there you go. Wow, profound. I know, right? So we'll give this one away, and then we will actually do the. But what uh, does it do? What does it do? Where's the dive lock at when you need it? We need a dive lock. Um, and then we'll give away this really, really sick Neptune wallet. Port wallet. Super sick. So sick. All right. Let me deliver these numbers here. The 1979 blunderbuss. <laughs> yeah. Do you know gear holder numbers? I don't. Brandon Tan. Is that a, like a YouTube channel or uh, they make gear for shooters? Interesting. Perfect for your high point. Leave me there. What? It's got such a delay. I can't. I don't know which. Ryan Pellick, let's go Neptune. We will get to the Neptune soon. It'll. Be, oh, what's up, Ryan? It'll be soon. Oh, uh, I just peeked at Instagram comments. Instagram people, we don't really watch too much of your comments, but I did see Stabby Baby ask that she drives by the shop and if she can stop in and say hi. The answer is yes, with a caveat of um, because we're so busy right now, we often leave that front door locked. So um, if you at least shoot us a message and like establish a time, like an appointment, that works really well for yeah. us. We can make sure where the door is open and we're looking for you. Um, and we can give you a tour of the shop and all that. So. Yeah, if you're driving by and you shoot us a message, uh, we can you know, come up and unlock. Just and... take a take a park, and if we say, "Hey, right now is not a good time," then then unfortunately that'll be what it what it is. But we are a small man operation here, and uh, some days we are literally just from the time we walk through the door to the time we leave, we're just running nonstop. So, yeah. but thank you for the interest. Unfortunately, this used to be kind of the, the clubhouse, the hangout for it a lot of. It used the... to be a lot of hangout, and now it's just so busy that it turned into an actual job, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's much unfortunate. <laughs> I think we drink. I was we trying drink to play just as much though. No, nothing changed. Or that. more. Yeah, I only come here to play. Actual job. He says while sipping whiskey. It's an actual job. <laughs> while sipping whiskey. And I'm working hard trash. over here, Tyler. Okay. Oh, just stick to your keyboard, nerd. 
<laughs> oh, people are leaving. Um, people are leaving the chat. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh. You're gonna miss out. So, well, um, leaving the chat in the middle of the giveaway. Why are people yeah. typing numbers? <laughs> Did we find a winner yet? We gave him a number. Oh, right. Yeah, they're going. We're giving away a brown valet tray on the YouTube channel where we actually watch the chat. Sorry, Instagram. Stonk Pliskin just writes stonks. That's his number. <laughs> Stonky, stonk, stonk. Is <laughs> Going up, dude. Uh, oh, yeah. You want to explain why people are writing numbers? We are doing a giveaway right now, and the number range is... Between 600 and 800. If you guess the right number, then you uh, get... <laughs> wow, I think he just showed up too. Ryan Pellick just won. Ryan just hey! showed up. Hey! Hey! Let's go, Dude, Ryan. He woke up and chose winning. So, if I might say that. Uh, BBC tray. You better contact us with all your shipping information. Uh, we accept stonky, stonk, stonk. handwritten letters and... Carrier so pigeons. The the Please no. Uh, smoke signals. I need it to be as clear as possible. You probably we, should write on the contact form on our website with all of your winning information that you want a brown valet tray. Yeah. And all, all honors and luxuries and privileges are due to you. My favorite one was the last giveaway. Some person wrote in and said they won this product, gave me their address but no name and the name on the email was not an actual name and the email itself did not contain a name and I didn't know them personally. Without even trying, people just can't win. Um, a full address, please. First name, last name, shipping address. Email, phone number, measurements. <laughs> For me. Nope. For me. No? You need Taylor a suit or what? Uh, anyway, your OnlyFans account link, your <laughs> TikTok channels where you twerk. I would like to see that. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Only, only Chris. Definitely want to see Chris's TikTok. I'm still seeing numbers. Ca cancel the numbers. Ryan says I'm busy, boys. You always know I'm in. Where's Adam at, dude? Where's all the where's Um I haven't seen JR did JR even stick around or did he fall asleep already? Like what's going on here? I will say Baby Boy Douglas has not been roasted as thoroughly as he has in previous episodes. So I'm a little disappointed because that's my favorite stuff in the world. Um but you know what? Yeah, Ryan. I will go for settle it. for roasts on Mike. So I'm uh very interested yeah, in what helpful. you have. Also Tyler in the back. For those who know Tyler, if you can roast him. If you've seen him the one or two times ever he's ever been included in anything. Yeah, you got to be careful about bringing Tyler out in public. The world's just not ready for not prepared. what uh, he has to offer. Um, he's not even in Windbreakers today, too, so he's not even at his full... Hey, he's, on a, he's on a good streak so he, far. He has not assumed his ultimate form. form <laughs> he's going to have that multicolored, like, 1991 Voltron. Windbreaker. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good. Rainbow parachute pants. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Just the MC Hammer pants. Uh oh. Ryan, I got your e or your uh, DM already, man. Thanks. What else do we have to give away? Uh, we're down to a port wallet in the limited run of Neptune. So yep. I don't know if we're doing that Chris, now. It's five o'clock. Let's give it away. Dude. Chris says, "Don't you get enough of that on Mike's OnlyFans?" To you, Chad. Uh I don't. I can't. Chad Nathaniel. I can never get enough of what Mike's got. Um, um. Yeah, I'm up to like one, one, one point one one three subscribers. Repeating several of um, ones. Yeah. Of followers. Yeah. On his uh, OnlyFans. Lots of money. Uh, he has way more followers on Tumblr. Don't ask me how I know. All right. Um. One more giveaway. Let me write some numbers down here. Thank you guys for sticking out past five. Um, I realize you could be living your best life now, but you're here with us. and <laughs> That's much unfortunate. <laughs> it's very unfortunate, and we're going to drink and pour one out for the homies. Also, this one goes out to you, guy, that leaves us the thumbs down on every video. Oh, yes. I always have to You are the realest one. There's we appreciate you. There's a guy you. who subscribes to us just to give us a, a one thumb down on yep. all of our videos, and uh, his determination, his grit, his yep. will... It's strong. He is destroying us by his by his one thumb down. He is, yeah, <laughs> on every form of media possible, ripping our foundational blocks away. I appreciate and, you. Uh, he's a worthy adversary. 
if you were here, I'd hug you for a, a ridiculous amount of time, an uncomfortable amount of time. Oh, how do I get in on that? <laughs> Silent S M M. I'm assuming you're talking to me, maybe, because that's my initials. Uh, are you upset about the menthol ban? Um, was there really a menthol? I I, I thought it was like a Babylon B. No, no, no. They're talking about banning uh, menthol cigarettes for whatever reason. They'll ban anything. Everything's bannable these days. Um, Why? Would I be upset? No, because I don't smoke cigarettes. Um, it's The problem is that it's just laws on laws on laws that is offensive. I need someone to walk around me and protect me from myself. So, um, Past 5, it's 2 a.m. in Europe. Ha, ha, ha. Well, thank you, Kevin, for participating in the, the fun festivities tonight. Drew, did I miss you got the brown EDC tray? You did, and so did I. So <laughs> it's already a done deal. All right, we're starting a yeah, giveaway. Is now. it for this? It is for the Neptune Port Wallet. This is a limited run. Um, it's probably hard Ooh. to see on the camera, but if you look at the Neptune on our website, it is essentially like a navy blue, dark blue with um, kind of a marbled light blue kind of uh, weaving through it. It's got a glossy or a glazed finish to it, so it's a real high sheen on it. Um, really rad leather, Italian origin, uh, nice dense, full grain. Um, really cool. Check out the Neptune limited run on yeah, the website. There's a few of these actually left on the website, too. Yeah, and there's some available if you're looking to buy. Uh, anyways, that's what we're giving away right now. And Tyler, uh, make it so. On it. What can we? We were supposed to talk about the company. It's already past five, and what did I say? We we sprinkled some in. Did we? Okay, I didn't know um, you guys wanted to. Do there was a question that that came in earlier though um, about the patina on your wallet. Are you? Did you already show that off? Oh no, I haven't. Brandon was asking about. He wanted to see a close up of the Pueblo olive patina, and I'll tell you right now. If you got in on the Facebook lounge group, there is a photo comparing this wallet to next to a new wallet to see the transformation. Um, there will be more photos dropping on Instagram with this, uh, with kind of detail shots. So we're, uh, it's coming. Bubbles? But it's it's fantastic. When it breaks in, it's amazing. Whoops. Whoops. Someone win this thing, man. Come on. You guys aren't trying hard enough. Come on, guys. Guess harder. So many guesses for 1,001. That's not it. It's not the number. Um, and maybe we'll give away the mouse pad to, just to get it out of here. <laughs> Drew out here at the 8675309. Drew. Okay. We really love you, man. <laughs> love you, Drew. I'm really tempted to sing that. My kids love that song, and they sing it when they walk around the house. Drew leaves the best customer comments on his orders. I think we all get together just of, to laugh around the computer. Out of anybody else. When Drew writes us. And it's really hard sometimes to... To really take it seriously. Yeah. No, love <laughs> ever since your first message, man, we will never forget your very first email you ever wrote in or your very first order comment. I can't remember. It was one of the two, but... That's a way to assert dominance and demand attention right off the bat is with a well-crafted uh, email in that <sighs> can cannot be ignored. Stonk Pliskin doesn't even... Oh, he, we'll get he's oh, woke winner. up this morning and chose Stonks. And a... Who is it? Anth A. An? Anth. Anth? Anth, Anth A. A. We got yeah. a winner. Oh, okay. Neptune Port Wallet. Anth A. You got to contact us through the contact page on our website. You got to tell us that you're Anth A. And what your real name is so we can laugh at your real name because it can't be more absurd than your fake name. Oh. Wow. Roast. Wow. You get a roast with a win. I'm sorry. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Uh, shipping address, email, phone. Stop numbers, please. Anything else that we should get from Amp A? Uh, subscription to OnlyFans. Wait, okay. I feel like that one's been played. Oh, but, it's already uh, played out. Okay. We can, uh, you won't see that until next live stream. Got then, it. Then we'll play it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, sweet. I mean, we can request full body shots for the win, right? Is that considered solicitation? <laughs> body or... shots. <laughs> And YouTube ban. Love it. <laughs> and ban. And the channel's gone. It was fun. Got it. No one has fun anymore. Everyone's got a... It's cancel culture, dude. It's BS. Okay, well, why don't we do any last second questions? And while we do that, who wants oh. to win this one large boy mouse pad? 
You know what? A leather mouse pad is the best. The patina it gets. Oof. It just. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm still seeing numbers, so. Drew, it, it definitely uh, it does not start with a Q. It doesn't start with a Q, let me tell you. Numbers don't start with Qs. They might. Sometimes. <clears throat> okay. I'm uh, crafting. Trust the plan, dude. We got 36 guys. <laughs> with the Q and oh, oh. Is, that the plan, is that a secret? Is that a secret? Is that a hidden? Is that a dog whistle? What was that? I would never trust the plan. I have an enfold in Neptune, nice leather, Wagstaff. What? Yeah, Wagstaff. All right, we're going to start the mouse pad giveaway here. I don't even own a computer, Corey, but... Nice, thanks. Real name is Cooler Aerosmith. I really hope that's your real name. That's amazing. Wait, is that your last name? I feel like, I, I, I feel like I've seen you before. His last name is Aerosmith? I think it might be Aerosmith as his last name. I think it's a band. No, Aero. A-R-R-O-W. Yeah. Yeah, Aerosmith. Yeah, Aerosmith. A-E-R-O-S-M-I-T-H is Aerosmith. The band. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> can't take you anywhere, dude. Come on, dude. Wow, he's, I bet you he's real fun at parties. He's just is he fun, fun at parties? Oh, Come on. on. I feel like he's real fun at parties. He's never a loser at all. Were you up mining all night? Corey Boyd, I don't even own a computer. <laughs> Get that boy some vanilla coffee. <laughs> Were you up mining all night? What is Dude, that? Dude, I don't know what that means. I was up Minecrafting all night. All right, the game has begun. Who wants to win it? Guys, mash comments as fast as you no, can. No, don't do it. Ma just stop. Just slam them in there, no. dude. High yeah, speed winner. Whoever goes the fastest wins. Five, nope. Two, three, <laughs> they wins the first band, that's for sure. Mike, come on, help me out here. I'm trying to help them fail. Well, we asked him to roast. I didn't even see... I saw Wayne one good roast tonight. You know what? That should be the caveat to you guess the winning number, and then you have to follow it up with a really good roast. So and this is the second time this has happened, but we have a person who's won his second piece in a single night. That's Ooh. fine. That's Ryan Pellick. Oh! Ryan wins, oh. baby! Ryan Pellick? Yeah. What a dog. Yeah. Woo! Hey, man. Ryan. Hey. reminder to everybody that we... You know, there's not a whole lot of people in here. There's not so a whole lot of people in well, here. It's easy to win. JR, JR shouldn't leave the stream earlier. He could have won again. JR, so. thanks. Where did you go? It was your time. He's already, he's got enough stuff. I'll go ahead and finish this one out, I guess. Oh. Oh, good. All right. Well, that gives uh, all the winners their goods. Um, <laughs> Ryan is hyped. <laughs> Friday has begun. Well, it started for us about an hour ago when we mm. started drinking. Uh, what's what's the weekend plans, boys? You want to just shoot the shit? Yeah. What are you doing? Anything? Yeah, for sure. Um, I am barbecuing. Ooh, number Traeger. one. Get the Traeger, Traeger. Get the Traeger out. I got uh, nice. apple vison on at home too. So Ooh, I got drinking get a that kegerator just for that stuff. And uh, don't don't ruin it. All right. <laughs> got to mow the lawn for the first time this year. You know what? Brag um, about it, dude. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Last year my foot was broken this time of year, so it's my first lawn mow in over a year. So. You're gonna wear new balances and I'm gonna get those dad shorts. I'm gonna get those dad sneaks out, dude. Just a middle class dude, fancy. Yeah. The dad shorts. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The real dirty hairy Instagram okay, but how guy. How straight of your lawn lines can you get though? I mean, are you are you um, did like, you have the the thing that what's it called? The the lay down where the grass goes to different directions. It looks all fancy. Get the perfect uh, what's it called? Striping. I don't know what you call that. Striping is that what it's called? Well, that's you just a mowing technique, but yeah. Um, no, I don't do that because you have to mow your lawn twice to do that, and I'm not gonna do that. So. Oh, you crisscross them. I guess yeah. you're not fancy. Cross hatch the lawn, dude. Um, Cross hatch the lawn. What a flex on all your neighbors, right? No, then we're going over to uh, Doug and Kelly's too. Oh, you're going to Doug's again? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Barbecue every Saturday, man. Is that the plan? Yeah. Maybe I'll ride my moto over. Yeah. Do some do it. keg stands with Doug. Mm. What are you guys doing? I'm doing uh, a photo shoot Saturday. Photo shoot? Yeah. Uh, Uber Laban photo shoot. Uber Laban. Got some friends coming up from Moscow tomorrow. Oh. And uh, going to hang out. Very yeah. cool. Uh, I'm doing housework, deck building, Ooh. remodel. Uh... Yeah, that the sounds, never ending yeah. honey do list. And is that deck coming together? It is. We just got to do the hand railing on it. So I got to go get that lumber, which 
Yikes. Lumber. Lumber is rough right now. Three, Double, three times the cost. Double. Is it three? It's I almost... I feel like it's doubled for sure. It's probably pushing that way. I just saw the math for a uh, for a deck in the backyard. It was uh, I forget how many square feet it was. Two hundred square feet or something like that. It was nine hundred and eighty nine dollars uh, eight months ago, and now it's three thousand dollars. So I think that's triple, right? My math's right. I can't. I don't. I can't do math. I don't know how to read. I don't know how to read. <laughs> so. yeah. I told you. <laughs> The pretentious illiterate. Well, uh, we we have just a few more of the olive belts available on the website, um, and we've got just a short of, or small amount of the um, Pueblo leathers available left too. So thank you guys always for participating with us uh, and backing us and in, in purchasing our products. We are so thankful to be able to do this. Uh, it's too much fun being this transparent with you guys and, and conversing with you. Uh, monthly is a lot of fun too. Uh, being roasted once in a while too. Uh, come back with your A game next month because yeah, like where can you roast, guys? Like, how do you look at yourself? My, in the my ego is way too high right now. It should be like it needs to be slammed down. Seriously, to the floor. Yeah. dropped. We have, to, Dude, we have to work next to this guy, yeah. and it's just. <laughs> I know what's happening Don't this weekend, like boys. Call of Duty. Oh, we'll probably have some gunfight. Gun fight. A little gunfight. Some drinking yeah. and gunfight. Uh, my pastor is trying to roast me in the comments about going to church. I'm definitely going to church, and I'm going to the other guy's church now, Gray, since you harassed me in front of oh. my friends. Oh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not true, right? That's not I have to do the bulletin, so. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. He'll be there on time. Yeah, I'll be there. Graves, don't worry. <laughs> All uh, right. Very good. Good times. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess I'm going to finish this bevy, and we can wrap it up and go home. It's Friday. Everyone, thank you so much. We will uh, catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. And we'll give away a bunch of more stuff on the next one. So come back and try again if you didn't win this time. And the odds are always good. Cheers. 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 Ching. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs>